Hi, myself Bolyadu Devananda Rao, working as Associate Professor in the Department of CSC, MLR Institute of Technology. Today's topic is Predictive Parser. The overview of the presentation, Predictive Parser or LL1 Parser, the construction of Predictive Parsing Table and Parsing the Input String. Predictive Parser is a top-down parser without backtracking. The Predictive Parser uses a look-ahead pointer which points to the next input symbol. It accepts only a class of grammars known as LLK grammar which is the subset of context free grammar hence the predictive parser is also known as LL1 parser. Here one indicates the one look ahead input symbol. The first L indicates uh, left to right scanning of the input string that is parsing the string from left to right and the second L indicates leftmost derivation. Predictive parser has the following three components they are input buffer and stack and parsing table. The input buffer, the input buffer is a tape like this on the tape we can place a string like a plus b and followed by dollar dollar indicates end of the string end of the string end of the string so this is called input string so input buffer includes the string to be parsed followed by the end marker dollar to denote the end of the string second component is stack it will contain the combination of grammar symbols with the dollar on the bottom of the stack. Dollar indicates the empty stack. Initially, we can place the start symbol onto the stack. Initially, we can place the start symbol onto the stack. Next component is parsing table. It is a two-dimensional array having rows and columns, non-terminals representing the rows and terminal symbols representing the columns. Any cell in the table represented by M a comma a a is a non terminal small a is a terminal this a indicates rows row this a indicates column column predictive parser will not suffer from backtracking so based on the current input symbol and the top of the stack symbols and action from the predictive parsing table the predictive parser program will give the output based on the current input symbol and uh, stack symbols and the action from the predictive table based on these three things predictive parser will give the output see steps to perform predictive parsing the following are the steps to perform predictive parsing first one is elimination of left recursion second one is left factoring third one is computation of first and follow fourth one is construction of predictive parsing table fifth one is parse the input string the first three steps already we have done in the previous videos that is the previous videos the title is left recursion and elimination of left recursion and another video title left factoring and another recently previous video is computation of first and follow for the given context free grammar fourth step is construction of predictive parsing table fifth step is input string parse the input string. So, in the given example, consider the following grammar E derives E plus T or T, T derives T star F or F, F derives parenthesized E or ID. In this grammar, we have left recursion because left hand side of the arrow and first symbol of the RHS both are same symbol. This rule is in the form of A derives A alpha or beta. If any rule in this form, that rule will be left recursive rule. Second rule is also a left recursive rule because left hand side non-terminal and first symbol of RHS both are same. These two rules are left recursive. Third rule is not left recursive because F is different from left parenthesis, F is different from ID. So, first from first two grammar sim rules we have to eliminate left recursion. Already this uh, topic for the same example I have explained how to eliminate left recursion in the previous video. Please go through that video to understand how to eliminate left recursion. I have directly written this answer for this elimination of the left recursion that is E derives T E dash, E dash derives plus T E dash or epsilon, T dash derives F T dash, T dash derives star F T dash or epsilon, F derives parenthesis D or ID. Second step, calculating first and follow for the given grammar rules. This is also for the same examples previous video I have explained how to calculate first and follow for the given rules. So, directly I have written this first of E is left parenthesis ID, first of E dash is plus comma epsilon, first of T is left parenthesis ID, first of uh, T dash is star and epsilon, first of F is left parenthesis ID, 
so follow of e is dollar comma dollar comma right parenthesis follow of e dash is dollar comma right parenthesis follow of t is plus comma dollar follow of t dash is plus comma dollar right parenthesis follow of f is plus star dollar and right parenthesis this is the directly i have written this result of this first and follow for the grammar in the previous video i have explained how to calculate first and follow please go through that video now constructing the predictive parsing table how to construct a predictive parsing table in the very first slide i have explained the predictive parser having three components input buffer stack and a predictive parser table table rows representing non terminals columns representing terminal symbols and uh, one more uh, that is uh, uh, along with the terminal symbols dollar symbol also representing one of the columns that is the uh, end of the string now we have to fill this table row e that means we need to calculate first of e what is first of e first of e is left parenthesis and id we need to fill this left parenthesis and id cell with which rule e rule what is e rule we have e derives t e dash you should not use these rules while filling the table after eliminating the left recursion whatever rules you got those rules you have to use e derives t e dash e derives t e dash e derives t e dash then e dash first of e dash what is first of e dash first of e dash is plus comma epsilon plus comma epsilon so plus we need to fill this cell with rule e dash rule what is e dash rule e dash derives plus t e dash e dash derives plus t e dash e dash derives plus t e dash because here first of e dash is plus comma epsilon because of epsilon we need to follow we need to find follow of e dash follow of e dash so for plus first of e dash for plus i have filled this entry with e dash zeros plus t e dash because plus is coming from this rule e dash zeros plus t e dash because of epsilon we need to find the follow of e dash follow of e dash is dollar and right parenthesis so in the column dollar and right parenthesis in the row e dash we need to fill the e dash zeros epsilon in the e dash row under dollar under uh, right parenthesis under right parenthesis we need to fill e dash zeros e dash derives epsilon e dash derives epsilon e dash derives epsilon e dash derives epsilon next t first of t first of t is left parenthesis and id first of t is left parenthesis and identifier we need to write the rule which rule t derives ft dash t derives ft dash t derives uh, ft dash and t derives ft dash t derives ft dash next first of t dash first of t dash first of t dash is star and epsilon first of t dash is star we need to fill with the, the rule t dash derives star fd dash t dash derives star fd dash t dash derives star f t dash then first of t dash is epsilon is there because of epsilon we need to find follow of t dash follow of t dash follow of t dash is plus dollar right parenthesis plus dollar and right parenthesis we need to fill this three cells with the, with the rule t dash derives epsilon because first of t dash is epsilon t dash derives epsilon t dash derives epsilon t dash derives epsilon like that we have to fill finally f first of f first of f is left parenthesis and id left parenthesis and id we need to fill the rule f rule what is f rule we have two rules f derives parenthesis d e f derives id wherever left parenthesis we need to use this rule wherever id is there you need to use this rule so id so that f derives id f derives id left parenthesis so that f derives parenthesis d e 
like that we need to fill the table now next step is parsing the input string parsing the input string initially the stack will contain dollar so first symbol first start symbol is placed on the stack that is e then input string is id plus star id id star id plus id initially start symbol is placed onto the stack start symbol is placed onto the stack and input is placed onto the input tape the end of the string is denoted by dollar now by seeing the table that is e is on the top of the stack row e and column id because first symbol is id first symbol on the string input string is id so id is column e is row e row and id column e row and id column that is e derives te dash that is e derives te dash we need to write output e derives te dash e derives te dash that means you, you we have to replace this e by te dash so that we have to push te dash onto the stack in reverse order that is dollar e is replaced by e dash and t e dash and t id star id plus id dollar so t id t id row t and identifier t derives ft dash t derives ft dash t derives f t dash then in the next step e dash t is replaced by ft dash in reverse order t dash f identifier star id plus id dollar f id f id f derives id f derives id f is replaced by id dollar e dash t dash id e dash t dash id id star id plus id dollar id id match that is top of the stack is id current input symbol is id so that we can pop the top of the stack and move pointer to next position in the input string that is dollar e dash t dash star id plus id dollar t dash star t dash star is t dash there is star ft dash t dash there is star ft dash star ft dash dollar e dash t dash is replaced by t dash f t dash f star t dash f t dash f star star id plus id dollar star star matched so that pop remaining symbols e dash t dash f id plus id dollar f id f id f derives id f derives id dollar e dash t dash f is replaced by id id plus id dollar id id matched pop the next step e dash t dash id plus id dollar t dash plus t dash plus t dash there is epsilon t dash derives epsilon so that t dash is replaced by epsilon dollar e dash epsilon epsilon into e dash e dash only so plus id dollar e dash plus e dash plus e dash derives plus t e dash this e dash plus e dash derives plus t e dash e dash derives plus t e dash this e dash is replaced by right hand side of the production plus t e dash but we can push this plus t e dash in reverse that is dollar e dash t plus plus id dollar plus plus matched pop in the next step e dash t id dollar t id t id 
t dash f t dash t dash f t dash dollar e dash t dash f i d dollar f i d f i d is f dash i d f dash i d dollar e dash plus i e dash t dash e dash t dash i d i d dollar i d i d match to pop dollar e dash t dash dollar t dash dollar t dash dollar t dash zero epsilon t dash zero epsilon dollar e dash epsilon dollar e dash into epsilon is epsilon only e dash dollar e dash dollar e dash zero epsilon e dash zero epsilon so epsilon e dash is replaced by epsilon so that dollar dollar top of the stack is dollar we reach end of the string dollar indicates end of the string so we have parts of the string so by taking the all the output actions we can construct the parse tree that is first e derives t e dash t e dash then second step t derives f t dash f t dash f derives i d f derives i d then t dash derives star f t dash then f derives i d t derives f t dash derives epsilon then e dash derives plus t e dash plus t e dash t derives f t dash f derives i d t dash derives epsilon e dash derives epsilon so if you collect all the terminal symbols leaf nodes we can get the string that is i d star i d plus i d star i d into epsilon i d only plus i d epsilon epsilon that is i d star i d plus i d this is the string derived from this parse tree that is top to bottom that is from top to bottom we have constructed the tree for the string w is equal to i d star i d plus i d this is a parsing input string with the predictive parser without backtracking thank you